Hello again, friends. Last week I made a broccoli cheese soup. And today, because I'm so in love with this soup, I wanted to make the cauliflower version, just so you can see, once again, how easy it is. And I really want you to, to be inspired to try it yourself. So, here's a head of cauliflower, and I just quickly cooked it. Um, and I'm going to throw it in here now, throw it into my little soup pot. I also use this, it's a Le Creuset um, Dutch oven, and I use it for baking bread. But since I'm not making my usual, you know, boatload of soup, um, I can just use this smaller amount. So please, you know, one thing that I've promised myself this year was that I was not going to make huge amounts, because I used to do that in the past, just make enormous amounts of food and then end up putting everything into the freezer and where it would sit for six months and then I would throw it out because I, you know, it would get frostbite or something. Okay, one beer. This is a wheat beer, Belgian white, and I love it, so I'm going to put that in there. And who knows, maybe I'll even have one tonight with the soup for dinner. To drink. To drink. All right, now, so one beer. And I know I'm always using my own homemade stock. But today, just to show you that it is possible, this is just organic, low-sodium chicken stock. Feel free to use that. And we're going to put that in there. I mean, this is how easy this soup is. Really, you're just pouring things into <laughs> a stock pot. And then you're going to, when that's done, you're going to use your immersion blender to mush it all up and have an absolutely fantastic soup that everyone will love. Everyone. And since the beer is going to cook, the alcohol in the beer is going to cook off, I don't think you really need to worry about that. You know, um, you know, maybe the beer makes it too much of an adult taste for the kids. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it just adds a nice flavor. Okay, so we've got one quart all gone. One quart, one beer, and um, now there's, as you can see, well, you can see here. I've got a bunch of cheese, <clears throat> and I'm actually not going to put that in until this cooks and after I use my immersion blender. But let me just show you what else I'm putting in here. Last time I made the broccoli version, <clears throat> I had some Dijon mustard in the, free, in the refrigerator, so I just put a big tablespoon of that in here. I don't have any Dijon mustard <laughs> because I used it up on the broccoli soup. So, but I do have some dried mustard, and I'm putting in probably a good teaspoon and a half. Use your taste buds. Let your taste buds be the guide. Same thing here. This is cayenne pepper, and um, maybe a quarter teaspoon of that, and then some salt and pepper. This is my pepper, freshly ground pepper with my pepper mill from the thrift store. So please, a lot of our thrift stores do such good work. Our thrift store um, actually supports our local food bank. So you can really feel good. I mean, not only are you getting a bargain by going there, you can feel good doing it because you're supporting, you know, a great organization. Now, once this cooks a little bit more, what I'm going to do is take my immersion blender and just go in there and give this a good chunking, which is what I'm kind of doing right now. And, and that's really all there is to this soup. Um, you don't even have, as you can see, there's no dairy. Just beer, beer, which beer and um, which I guess if you're gluten free, I don't know. Can you find a gluten free beer? Probably. 
So, anyways, as you can see, I'm going to chop, really chop up the, or, or grind up the broccoli, I mean the cauliflower, until it's well processed, until, you know, this, the soup is smooth. Then I'll taste it and um, add in this, at least a cup of this sharp cheddar. Um, the sharp cheddar with the beer and the mustard is going to be fantastic. And then adjust your seasonings. Maybe you want to add in some more mustard or salt or pepper. Um, maybe some red pepper flakes. And that's it. You're good. You're done. Okay? So we're at six minutes. And I'm going to have soup on the table in another five. That's all you have to do. Make this wonderful, cheesy cauliflower soup. Go to SusannaElizabeths.com to see these beautiful um, handmade aprons that I make myself and I sell. Um, you'll also find more cooking videos, recipes, and the books that I write. So, SusannaElizabeths.com, and uh, maybe I'll have makeup on next time we meet. All right? God bless you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.